What's up, guys? So I want to tell y'all a little something that happened to me yesterday about somebody that was going through some stuff and they reached out. I'm not going to name anything specific because it's her business, but if she watches this, she'll know it's her. Um, so I was at work, got a message from somebody that I've only met one time. So that's important to, to note that I've met this individual one time. You know, we kind of bonded because we were both in recovery. Um, she messaged me. She's like, I need to talk to somebody. I said, okay, well, I got a few minutes. So she calls me and she has just been out of shape, crying, tore up. And she's got, she's 10 years sober, by the way. Um, so she calls me, she's just been out of shape, tore up. And, you know, like I said, I've only met this person one time, but we start talking, you know, she, I ask her, you know, what's wrong? What's going on? She tells me, you know, she's going through a bunch of stuff in her life, you know, stressful stuff, getting a new, it's all good stuff, positive stuff. Um, but the stress is just getting to her, right? And it just goes to show that no matter how long you have clean, this thing can always sneak up on you and, and jump on your back, right? You know, the worst thing an addict can do in their recovery is get complacent. As soon as you get complacent and think you got this thing, then that thing's going to pop right back up and, and, and try you. It's going to try you as hard as it can because it wants nothing more than, you know, to get back in your life and be able to control you. Um, but we sat on the phone and talked for about five minutes. You know, I was able to hopefully calm her down a little bit. And the reason I wanted to share this story is the important thing is she took the biggest step that any recovering addict could do, right? That just shows how mentally strong she is and how much she really wants to stay sober. You know, a lot of addicts, man, when they start getting those thoughts and they start entertaining them, they do not call anybody. They do not make that first step and to try to fight that battle. So what she did just shows that she's equipped with the knowledge of what to do in those situations. And I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. It's a huge, huge step that a lot of people can't make. Um, but I just wanted to share that because, you know, like I said, I've only met her one time and it just goes to show you, you don't have to know anybody to be able to talk with them about this disease and to be able to talk them off the edge. Because no matter who they are, if you've never met them, if they're a complete stranger, you do share that bond of addiction and recovery. And, you know, two addicts together talking about addiction is the right recipe to throw that thing right out of your mind. So... I wanted to share that with you guys because I was super proud of her, um, and it means a lot that people can reach out to me and, uh, you know, trust me with being able to talk them off that ledge. So if y'all watch this, please drop it down in the comments and congratulate her because hopefully she'll watch this and, uh, you know, know what I'm talking about. So y'all drop it down in the comments and congratulate her and tell her good job because that's a huge step, and I'm super proud of her. So. And also, if anybody ever needs me, if anybody's ever going through anything, don't hesitate to DM me. And if it's serious, uh, I'll give you my number to reach out and we can talk to each other and, you know, get you through this thing. So hope y'all have a good rest of your day. I'll see y'all next time.